Okay, this might be the end game when it comes to using lossless scaling on laptops, guys. I don't think it gets any better than this. Um, as you guys know, I've been messing around with dual GPU setups. I've got a freaking graphics card here, got a laptop here, got a desktop here. There's a lot going on, but have been messing around on desktops anyway with using two GPUs, yes? It came across my mind that a lot of these Intel CPUs actually have integrated graphics, yeah? And they're quite powerful for the most part. Um, there's been times where I've been able to run games just on this laptop, um, like Dota, without even kicking up the uh, 4070 that's in here. So having all of this hardware, I wanted to try out and see if we could use the iGPU in this to do the frame generation and then use the 4070 just to render the base frame for the games, right? So here, as you can see, we have Haldive is open. Uh, got the frame rate monitor here. We're getting 34, 32 frames per second at the moment. Now, you'll see why I'm doing this. Uh, there was a lot of messing around in this, okay? So I guess I'll run you through the problems that I came across first. So I thought it would just be plug and play you know, you open up lossless scaling. If it opens up, I don't know why it always takes time to open up. Okay, I think it's just crashed. Never mind, here it is. Okay, so lossless scaling open. I don't know what happened there. Um, but I thought it would be just as simple as turning this on. And actually, let me just turn on, let me just turn it on with the 4070 first and show you guys what it does. So we're sitting at around 34, 32 frames, mostly 32. Uh, once it kicks on, you can see we lose quite a bit of frame rate. Um, this is again using the 4070 to do the frame generation, yes? How Divers is a game that doesn't have built-in frame generation, hence the use case, okay? So it drops a couple of frames, probably about five odd frames, which is quite a significant chunk, right? Considering we're only generating about 30. Um, this being the case, you really want to try utilize two graphics cards, right? So the frame generation can happen on the Intel one and the game can be rendered on the 4070. So again, I thought to do that, you would just have to click on Iris XE graphics, yada, 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 click scale, give it a few moments. And look what happens. Your base frame rate turns to shit, okay? You really get only about 20 frames um, and you're generating up to 60. So it's really not good. What you really want is that frame rate to remain around that 32 mark, yes. Um, and so it got me thinking, I'm like, you know what, maybe it's got something to do with the fact that this graphics, well, this screen is external to the laptop, right? It's being passed through somehow. It's going through some type of chipset, some sort of thing. And maybe that's what's causing the problem. And that's why I have this screen up. So bear with me one moment. I'm going to press a button to turn off lossless scaling first. And we're going to switch to this screen. Okay, so we're finally in game. And as you can tell, we're on around that 33, 34 uh, FPS mark, right? So let's open up lossless scaling. Um, and now let's switch it to that Iris XE graphics, all right? So let's scale that. Um, pay attention, take my finger out of the way. Pay attention to that, right? Look at that. We're still staying around that 34, but now we're generating up to 60, right? And even during movement, that's perfectly fine. So, turns out that you can use a dual GPU setup with a laptop, integrated GPU with the discrete, but it can only display out to the laptop screen, which kind of sucks, but hey, I'm not complaining. It still kind of works. If you really needed to, let's see if that actually works. Um, I should be able to go into display settings and well once I have that display connected mirror this one onto the big screen so that's probably the only way I think this would work but I'm surprised man um, that you can do this and it's really 
it's really not a problem at all. Like it, it works perfectly fine. You don't get any additional latency. Um, it works pretty much, man, if this thing would freaking focus, there we go. Um, it kind of plays as normal. So yeah, I mean, don't take this frame rate as you know the gospel because we're running at let me show you guys the settings that we're running at where is it options uh display you can see we're running at ultra super sampling okay so in reality i've only done like in reality i'm only going to be running at like native okay and so that frame rate will be already high enough um but just to dump the frame rate down and simulate a gpu bottleneck scenario in which you know it does make sense to use two GPUs, uh, I've run it uh, at this kind of egregious setting. So yeah, hopefully you guys learned something from this. Um, for me anyway, this is kind of an interesting rabbit hole to go down, but yeah, I thought I'd share my findings and I can't wait to mess around with more dual GPU stuff. Something like this, it's in the works. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Take care, bye.